Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living return with having. When we talk about abuse today, we have to really educate people from the hood who are accustomed to being uppity, snotty, violent, futile in a lot of ways, and vulgar in their language about abuse. You see, verbal abuse is when we are verbally abusive to someone. We call them bitch, we call them bastard, we call them all this, but it's not just a one-off comment. It's a constant stream of verbal attack in a scene. And when we talk about physical assault, we talk about all kinds of things. A physical assault is when someone cuts a person's beard who has grown it for their faith. It is also something that rolls underneath the guise of a hate crime. In life, we do not have the right to touch another human being's body, and everyone knows this, and yet there are people who think it's their right to do this. We know this from the various hate crimes that we have seen around the world where people try to harm physically someone because they feel they have the right to do this. Abusive and abrasive people rarely go far in life. They're always jumping ship, they're always changing jobs, and they usually make it a couple, two years at a time. When it comes to law enforcement, it is true they need big macho men who can put their hands on you should you be doing something unlawful or something that causes physical harm. But no one really thinks about how hard that is for them without any charm. What we know about abusers is that they like to lie. What we also know about game players is that they love to pass around the responsibility and the accountability to other people to try to get some get themselves out of their lie. Their original lie was, I have the right to do this to you because I feel like it. But then all of a sudden they start to recognize other people telling them about the laws that they're violating and what could happen to them. And they don't exactly panic. They just think that they can play out of them. They think they can play around them. They think they can get more people involved in stalking and molesting and mobbing to the point that they get out of their responsibility. So they're trying to evade adult accountability. But the reality is they don't. Once it's finally discovered, once the investigators are on the scene, once the common and uncommon officers are coming in and out of a retail place or a restaurant or some sort of space, people don't quite grasp it until it's too late. That any human being that's involved with harming someone is legally liable. And any human being that lies about someone trying to harm someone is also liable. I can remember when my late father was literally dying, I was constantly being told that I could not visit my siblings because they wanted to be in control of my father's estate, my late father's estate. And they just thought that was great, that they could just gang up, mob, basically, and lie.